Although I've explained that my inversion on Cubase has paid off, since I use it to work every day and make my living out of it, I'd like to address now to people on other scenarios. Perhaps you're a beginner or a student, in which case you're not quite involved in the market and haven't developed a customer base that will justify buying Cubase. Or maybe you are simply interested in recording as a non-profit hobby. For these situations, there's a couple of free tools that will help you achieve your goals. The first one and most popular is called Audacity, and it was the first DAW I've ever used. It's simple, easy to use, not very versatile, and completely open source and free. Audacity is also compatible with Windows, OS X, and Linux, which is pretty convenient. For Apple users, a good choice would be GarageBand. It includes a sizable library of sounds to help you produce your first projects, a good selection of presets, and even contains lessons for you to learn piano and other instruments. GarageBand is actually a smaller version of Logix Pro X, so if you're choosing it as your first DAW, the upgrade to Logic will be easier to you. Another simple free version of an established DAW would be Cakewalk, which should emulate Sonar. Cakewalk is free for Windows users and offers top quality plugins to assist you in mixing and mastering your projects. Other established award-winning DAWs like Pro Tools, Cubase and Ableton offer free versions but with several limitations such as maximum track amount or number of saved projects. Besides, most of these versions cannot be directly downloaded from their sites. Instead, you need to buy a product, such as an audio interface or a MIDI controller, in order to receive this version as, as a complimentary gift for your purchase. These light versions are Pro Tools First, Ableton 9 Lite and Cubase LE. As you can see, the only free options are those designed to be free, like the ones mentioned at the beginning of this video. Hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next video.